We've got a few more things to share with you today. Let's talk about video. As you know, the Creative Canvas has evolved significantly over the past few years. It's gotten larger, more diverse, and more dynamic, including immersive 360-degree experiences. Immersive video is an area we're particularly excited, especially following our acquisition of Skybox from Metal. Skybox represents the state of the art in 360-degree video and virtual reality technology. It's been integrated now directly in the heart of our video tools. And we're going to show you that today. This fall's update of the Creative Cloud for video will help filmmakers and video professionals continue to deliver very high impact experiences with major innovations in virtual reality, animation, motion graphics, editing, and collaboration. What I'd like to do now is invite Jason Levine, our principal worldwide evangelist for digital video. <laughs> Sounds like they know Jason. OK. Let's have Jason join us and show you what's on in video. Jason? Thanks, Brian. Hello. Very nice to see you all. I am here today to talk to you about some of the latest innovations coming to our digital video and audio products. And I'm going to start in Premiere Pro talking about motion graphics templates. Now, these were designed and introduced earlier this year as part of the Essential Graphics panel, really as a way to give editors all the basic tools they need to build um, animation, text, and titles right inside of Premiere Pro without ever having to leave the interface, without ever having to go to After Effects. Well, today we're introducing responsive design-based motion graphics templates. Now, many of you will know this concept from the web. The same really applies here, where we're basically allowing editors to leverage and reuse these templates on any video, regardless of frame size or aspect ratio, as well as the ability to preserve time-based animation, regardless of duration. So here I've got a little sequence that I've been working on for something called The Last Horizon. And you'll see I've got a very simple animated graphic here that I want to create as a template. And I always want it to appear in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. So I'm going to select this graphic, go into our Essential Graphics panel, and select my text layer. And what you'll now see is that we have an option for responsive design positioning, where I have the ability to not only pin layers to other layers, but in this case, I can pin the text to a specific point of the video frame, in this case, the bottom right-hand corner. I'm going to right-click here and export this as a motion graphics template. Naturally, I'll save this, give it a name here, to my shared CC library so that anyone that I'm collaborating with will instantly have access to this so the people who are creating my social media versions of this same video, which are likely to be square or vertical for Instagram or vertical for Snapchat, can do just that and get the same exact experience. So here we go. Let's wind this back. You can see we've got a square aspect ratio. I'll go into my CC libraries. I'll grab the motion graphics template that we just created. I'll drag it down. I'll hit play. And it appears in the bottom right-hand corner exactly where it's supposed to. <laughs> Responsively. <laughs> Let's talk about responsive design time. Time-based animation. So here is a title sequence where we have the last horizon fly on at one second and 10 frames, and then a second line appears, and then it flies off over 20 frames. And regardless of how long we stretch out this template, I always want the last horizon to fly on over a second and 10 frames and fly off over 20 frames. But once again, let's select that template, go into Essential Graphics, and now you see an option for responsive design time, where we actually give you specific intro and outro durations. And if you take a look at the effects controls here, what you'll actually see is that any keyframed information that exists in the gray areas here will always be preserved. And any keyframed animation that exists in between those gray areas gets squeezed or stretched accordingly. So, if next week's title sequence intro is that much longer, let's go ahead and wind this back to the beginning. I'll take my template, drag it out, play it back, <laughs> flies on over a second and 10 frames. The second line lingers a little bit longer, but again, the last horizon flies off <laughs> over 20 frames. If the following week it's that much shorter, let's go ahead and do the same thing here. I'll make this entire thing a bit shorter, drag it down like this, take my template, drag it down over here. And you can actually see that even on the template itself, it gives you visual indicators to show you it's preserving those time durations. Wind it back, hit play, and there it is, second line, and off the screen. Just like that, responsive design motion graphics templates. Thank you. Now, 
You may be looking at these and thinking, these look terrible. <laughs> and they kind of do. I made them, and I'm not a designer. Hashtag, duh. That's uh, very clear, obvious. Wouldn't it be amazing if there was some way for you to access professionally, beautifully crafted, designed motion graphics templates? Well, as Ash mentioned earlier, we've been doing a lot of stuff, adding a lot of new content to Adobe Stock. And we're very happy to announce today that in Adobe Stock, you have access to hundreds and hundreds of motion graphics templates in multiple styles, backgrounds, lower thirds, title sequences, pretty much everything you can imagine, created with responsive nature. We have ones that are built specifically in After Effects. We even have a master artist collection created by some of the most well-known and respected motion graphics designers in the industry, including Brian Maffitt, Nick Hill, Valentina V, even Andrew Kramer has lent his brilliance to our collections. And all of these can be downloaded and licensed directly to your CC libraries, and they're fully editable. So in the case of this dramatic thriller one here, again, looking inside the Essential Graphics panel, this just kind of gives you an idea of some of all the vast amounts of editability that you have. So you can customize with your own colors, your look, your feel, and integrate them into your productions and make them super awesome. Motion graphics templates in Adobe Stock. <laughs> Motion graphics templates in Adobe Stock. 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 And some are free. But not all of them. <laughs> you have to pay for some. Segwaying over to VR and immersive workflows, Brian mentioned that we've been doing a lot of work in the 360 VR space. And here we have some content that was shot in Venice in 6K. And one of the most common things people want to do is integrate text and titles and imagery or video inside that 360 immersive environment. So what we're going to do here is I've got a motion graphics template that I actually created. Let's go ahead and drag this in, place it inside the timeline here, drag it out a little bit like this. And in this, what we're looking at here, this is known as the equirectangular frame. It looks, it looks OK. It's not great. Um, but when we go into the viewer, it's really bent and skewed. Something's not right, because this text was never really designed to be projected in this space. For that, we need a specific effect. And as Brian mentioned, with the metal effects now directly integrated in today's update of Premiere Pro and After Effects, rebranded as Immersive, if we go to Immersive and twirl down, the one we are looking for is VR Plane to Sphere. So let's go ahead and drag this over top of our motion graphics template. And you can see that it automatically looks better. Let's go ahead and scale this up a bit. This will act like a Z-depth control, something like that. And then we're going to twirl down the rotate projection, because what if I want to actually reorient that text along the side of the wall here? I can do that as well, just by, oh, not that one, sorry. Let's go ahead and drag the Y axis here, just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And all of these effects are now GPU accelerated, which means that you can get incredible real-time performance, even in 6K, there's some creepy clowns right there, with all of this stuff happening simultaneously. Now, another element, of course, of telling your story in 360 and VR are using transitions. Now, we need specific transitions for 360 VR. Typically, when we use transitions, it's really to cut us from scene to scene. But in VR, these are really used more as narrative devices to push us through, to move us through the scene. But once again, under Immersive, you will see video immersive transitions. I'm going to go ahead and pull in a couple of my favorites here, light rays and light leaks. The really nice thing about these is that they function just like traditional transitions, except if you look again here on that equirectangular frame, it kind of gives you an idea of how it moves through the frame that much differently. Let's go ahead and go into our VR viewer here, play this back. Again, you can totally navigate as it's doing its thing. All right, just like that. Let's wind this a little bit faster. There we go. Keep on playing and go from the piazza to the gondola, just like that, which is very appropriate being here at the Venetian, don't you think? OK. We didn't even plan that. That's right. All right. Now, what about giving editors even more control, the ability to really see and experience that immersive environment for you, the viewers, their customers, before they upload, before they go to Facebook? This is something that you couldn't do yesterday. 
Well, today in Premiere Pro, via an Oculus Rift or an HTC Vive, your editors can put on that headset, and they can get inside that immersive environment, and they can actually navigate Premiere Pro's sequence, the timeline, and experience that immersive feeling of being inside the sphere and really have that full VR 360 with spatial ambisonic audio experience before they publish, before they go to YouTube and Facebook. And these are just some of the incredible innovations coming to today's updates of the video and audio products. Motion graphics templates in Adobe stock. Thank you very much. We all sit backstage and draw straws to see who has to follow Jason. So, um, so that's, we've talked about al alternate reality, virtual reality. We joke about Jason's alternate reality. Um, <laughs> what energy. But I think you guys see, we, we've set the stage for a whole new era in video with immersive experiences and motion graphic design. It'll make it easy to edit, share, and collaborate, even on the most sophisticated, engaging video projects. We also have news today. Um, we showed Character Animator last year in beta. It's another exciting announcement we're making is that Character Animator now is out of beta. For those of you who didn't have a chance to see the, the demonstration, it's a live 2D animation tool that lets you take and simplify the art of taking a puppet and bringing that to life. And so a two-dimensional two puppet and to, to assign behaviors to that puppet and bring it to life. And it's also part of your core CC All Apps uh, membership. So very proud to announce the, you know, taking Character Animator out of the box today. 